Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and this is part 8 of our API and database testing with Specflow and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about database testing for WCF API with a stored procedure. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 and 7 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of those two parts. Alright, so stored procedures. A stored procedure is a group of SQL command or statements that forms a logical units and performs a particular task and they are used to encapsulate a set of operations or queries to execute on a database server that's what is stored procedure and stored procedure is something which is very very intrinsic in a, a database operation system because most of the complex query with a lot of logics will be coupled or combined into one single stored procedures and which is available in your most of your applications so if you have uh, a database uh, then surely if you see the stored procedures there will be a lot of stored procedures available which is going to perform a lot of operations because stored procedure also as it mentioned here encapsulates the actual business logic behind the scenes and it is very very helpful when performing a complex operations which is especially in the back end or the sql server all right so for that let's flip to sql server so this is our database employee db and you can see there is something called programmability and if you click this programmability you have something called stored procedures but currently in our database we really don't have any stored procedure to perform any kind of uh, complex operations because we have a very very simple ui application which performs very very simple operation especially the ddl and dml commands and that's the reason we don't have any stored procedure for now so what we're going to do for our testing purpose is so far in our video series we were discussing how to execute a very very simple command to perform some operations uh, in our feature file as you saw here right so right now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to perform a little complex operation to perform an additional uh, operations so in our previous scenario what we did was uh, we s we did this we connected to a pf service and then we updated the salary and employee in the database and then we checked if the employee contribution uh, for this particular employee id is correct or not but there was a small glitch while we were working in the last video and we also told that we will be discussing later and this is the video which we are going to discuss about it so the problem which we faced in our last video was this so if we just update the salary of the employee in the database which we are just supplying uh, it is not going to perform a 100% real operation because if you see the business logic of our application it actually requires the duration work also as one of the parameter so you can see that it also expects for the duration work because without duration work it is not going to exactly calculate these operations so we need to somehow supply the duration work as well but it is very very simple all you have to do is just create one more column here and then you can uh, just add a parameter to pass in the duration worked uh, like this and I update the salary and the duration worked for employee in database something like that and you can add one more uh, column for this uh, examples table and then perform the operation and you can go to this particular step definition whereas you can uh, change this query to perform that operation which is very 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 simple but we are not going to really take that angle right now because this is going to be a stepping stone for our next video where we can write a small stored procedures which is going to perform uh, the operation in much easier way this time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make use of a stored procedure to perform the operation so let's see how to write a very very simple stored procedures and perform the rest of operation there so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to write a very simple stroke procedure in this video and then in the next video we'll actually make use of it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my SQL server and then I'm going to write a small stroke procedure. So for doing that just click new query and this is going to bring in uh, this window and here I'm going to write a stored procedure. So if you're already aware of the stored procedure then it is very very helpful. So the stored procedure I'm going to write is this create procedure of insert employee salary and duration and then the first parameter will be uh, the value which I'm going to enter and then I'm expecting to enter the salary which is also integer and the duration work which is also integer and then I'm going to say s and then I'm going to use begin update dbo 
dot employees set salary is equal to the salary which I'm passing in as a parameter and the duration work is equal to the duration work which I'm passing in where the ID of the employee is going to be the ID which I'm passing as a parameter very simple right so this is a very very simple store procedure which I'm going to perform or maybe insert in our employee database for now right and then we have to make sure that we execute this uh, store procedure to perform the real operation so what I'm going to do is uh, we're just going to uh, make use of this store procedure right now so in order for a store procedure to be executed in our uh, spec flow we have to write a logic in our database helper to perform that operation so the database extension helper or the database helper extension in our EA out of framework actually has got the capability of executing a stored procedure and we're going to make use of that particular code in our spec flows feature and then use that for executing it right so what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to execute the stored procedure which we have created in our database so uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to change this uh, scenario outline a little bit and then I'm going to add something like this so it says verify if employee pf contribution for the specific employee so uh, is the same line as you can see and i update the salary duration work for employee id and then i check it so i have added one more uh, column here like duration work and i have also passed in the value here and you can see this time i'm changing the salary a little bit and also the employee contribution so because the duration work is different uh, similarly the salary and the employee contribution is different for the employee Prashant as well right so we have to implement this particular step definition which is not implemented yet so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, implement that step definition here so this is the step definition and here as you can see in the feature it says salary duration worked and employee ID so the parameters are going to be salary duration worked and employee ID int salary duration worked employee ID I need to make use of store procedure which we have written and we have to execute the store procedure so in our previous video we were discussing how to execute the query using this execute query method right and this time we're going to execute a store procedure so let's see if we have a method for this connection stream this guy so I'm just going to see if I have something like execute store procedure or something like that and you can see there is something called execute proc with param dt which is great so we have a method to perform that operation so if you see that method what it's actually expecting it is expecting us to pass the query and it's going to return as a data table right so I'm sorry execute proc with param dt is actually expecting a store procedure name and it is expecting us to pass a hash table so suddenly I'm bringing in something called as hash table so what is that so what I'm going to do is maybe like let's uh, come on this and I'm going to create a hash table and let's call this as uh, data is equal to new hash table and then the data dot in hash table you can do a key value pair operation so the key which is going to be something like I'm going to insert the ID and this is the ID and then the ID is going to be the employee ID similarly I'm going to insert data salary and this is going to be the key and the salary is going to be salary right and then I'm going to insert data dot add of duration work so the duration work is I'm going to paste it right here and then I'm going to give duration work great so this is the data which I, which I got so my method the execute store procedure method will actually expect for this value to be uh, passed execute proc with uh, param duty and then I'm going to pass the parameter name as the proc name uh, so the proc name is nothing but our SP insert employee salary and duration work so make sure that you have this store procedure in your database before you execute uh, this code and then I need to pass the hash table which is nothing but my data right so I'm gonna save it actually this method also returns you uh, some value as a data table if you actually return any value but currently we are not returning anything so uh, it is just fine because it's just in updating the database that's it so it is totally fine 
And now if I try to run this particular uh, step definition or the scenario, uh, it'll actually execute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build the solution this time. So we have this verify if employee PF contribution for specific employee. So this is the uh, step definition. All right, so it got executed. And now if I try to uh, see the output of this particular method, and you can see that it's got passed, right? Without any problem, everything is running fine. And you can see that I have inserted or updated this time 4,300 for the employee Karthik and 40 as the uh, duration worked and one as the uh, employer ID, right? So if you go to the table, select star from employees, you can see that this time the value of Karthik is 4,300 and duration is 40, right? So earlier it was, uh, I think it was 4,000 and the duration work was 24, right? So this is how you can actually verify uh, how to perform the operation. But in our next video, we are going to take a different route because as you can see, there is some kind of problem behind the scene because if we give 4,300 and the duration is 40, the business logic is something which is available here, right into our service onesvccs right? So this is the business logic. What if we try to mock this business service in a little way, uh, because this is a small calculation. So if we try to mock this particular stuff, and then if we write it into our database, then we can get the mock data and verify if the mock data and the real data is actually as expected or not. So if it is really not making any sense, then probably it's really a good time for you to take a look at the next video. So stay tuned guys, and thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day.